What's going on guys? It's Latte7 and welcome to my first ever top five or any countdown ever that I've ever done. Anyways, we're going to be looking at the top five I've most underrated video game characters. Let's get it started. Alright, I think a lot of us can agree that the original Super Mario Bros, while fun, is a little bit overrated. I mean, a graphics kind of game, but it's still fun to play. Except when you encounter Toad. Don't get me wrong, um, Toad is pretty annoying, but I feel he gets a bit too much hate. I mean, he is pretty funny. In all honesty, if it wasn't for the hate with Toad, he'd probably be an extremely boring character, which he already is, and that's why he's only at number five. I still oh, actually kind of dislike this guy. Eh, oh well. Well, let's get to number four. At number four, we have Drippymon Flippin' Heck. Anyways, this character is from a game known as Nino Kuni, The Wrath of the White Rich, which I'm pretty sure a lot of you haven't played. It's a really good game, but however, it has this character. He's funny, he always excitable, and has any chance and to be a goofball whenever he wants. And also, there's a part in the game, I won't spoil it for you guys in case you want to play the game, but trust me, it's insanely funny when, Tri when Drippy goes to his hometown. Trust me, you'll laugh as well. Anyways, he's number four. So let's continue. At number three, we have one that probably a lot of people aren't going to agree with. Balloon Boy from the FNAF trilogy. Well, naming only FNAF 2 because in the third game, well, he is pretty hated there. But at the second game is where he started. So let's go over it. Balloon Boy is one of the most, most annoying animatronics in the entire series. He'll walk into your room and disable your flashlight. And that'll mean a foxy jump scare before you know it. But however, one thing that is quite interesting about this character is that the main reason why I like him is mainly because everyone else hates him. In all honesty, if it wasn't for the hate surrounding Balloon Boy, he'd probably he'd come off as a little bit mediocre of an animatronic. But however, he is annoying in the first game, and well, the second game, you get what I mean. <laughs> Because the second game is technically supposed to be the first game. Okay, this is getting very, very insane. It was, it's straight down. Balloon Boy isn't as bad as most people say. At number two, we have the King of the Koopas himself, Bowser. This guy, well, some people think he's a pretty mediocre villain. But however, there's a reason why I love this guy. The spin-off games. Besides Mario Party, where I just want to crush this guy with a freaking hammer, or I love Bowser's personality. He's funny, he tries to be a tough guy, but normally ends up just messing up. Bowser isn't a mediocre villain, and to all of you guys, as you think that Mario is overrated and stuff, I don't know, Nintendo haters, I won't judge, aliens, who even knows? But anyways, it's basically, a Bowser is awesome and hilarious. But what could top Bowser, I hear the audience saying. Well, let's recap. Not really, because it's only been five. So let's just get to number one. All right, I, I bet you guys are wondering, so what is the number one most underrated video game character? Well, of course, it's got to be Fawful from the Mario and Luigi series. This guy is so funny. I mean, seriously, mention the infamous Mustard of Doom quote to anyone, but it doesn't seem to get as much praise as he deserves. And that's one of the reasons why I'd like to see him in Smash Bros, even though I doubt he will be in there. But he's hilarious. He has great quotes. But however, there is one thing. One of the reasons why he's, he's at number one is because I hardly hear anyone ever talk about him. I mean, of course you have Fawful's Minion, and one of my all-time favorite YouTubers, who has has definitely made an impact act on Fawful's popularity. But however, he just doesn't get enough attention, Fawful. And and I think I can see why. The Mario and Luigi series has always been a bit off-putting to some, um, as not part of the full platforming genre, and many stick to the Paper Mario, oh, and Super Mario RPG. So, I can understand that. The Fawful is criminally underrated. He's funny. But the reason why I really enjoy him is his rise as a villain. In the Superstar Saga, he's just a minion working for Cacoletta. But who it was stole Peach's voice? And who it was able to survive a fall that looked like it was about 50 feet? Dang, Fawful. That's pretty good. But however, then he throws his way back up as the main antagonist of, of Bowser's 
That was Inside Story. So that is pretty awesome. And that is why Fawful is my number one favorite video game character. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please leave your positive or negative comment down below. Tell me how I can improve because I actually did this unscripted. Yeah, might be a bit unprofessional, but hey, I felt like it. So we'll see how it turns out. Thank you guys for watching again. Make sure to subscribe and join Team Froki today and have a great day.